Hi, this week marks the beginning of the fourth annual International Social Emotional Learning Day. Schools and communities across the globe will be joining together to celebrate kind minds and connecting hearts. This year, the Maine Department of Education worked with schools and community partners across the state to share how they uniquely connect with youth, and they did not disappoint. We are the Massilboro Vikings. And we make connections in our school through our Big Buddy Little Buddy program. We build connection by creating a safe space where students are empowered to come as their true and authentic selves. And we meet them where they are, but we don't leave them where they're at. We do this by teaching them coping skills that allow them to recognize and regulate their own emotions so they can focus on what's truly important to them. In turn, they can use their skills to help their peers and build a stronger, more connected community. One way that she builds connection and this office builds connection in our school district is by making sure that when people come to their office, they've got candy and healthy snacks as well. We connect with kids on a daily basis with a smile and a warm welcoming. Oh. Our doors oh, always I open. I try to connect with my students on a day-to-day -day basis by having a consistent daily check-in with our students. Um, this check-in involves sitting in a circle with their classmates and sharing one good thing and one bad thing about their day. One of the ways that I build connection in our school community is by helping to run our school food pantry. By humor and being respectful to them and treat them like a human being. I connect with my students with sign language. We love to build connections with our students. We're Team Altitude. One way that my school makes connections is we have activities such as homecoming, last modernist, holiday assemblies, and winter carnival, and then it makes South Area High School a great place to be. One of the ways connection happens in my classroom is by engaging in fun activities such as Spirit Week through play, by sharing kind words through play and laughter, through laughing and talking. We like to connect with our students at 21st Century with social emotional leadership tools by way of financial literacy, career development, and a little cooking with a little chef word RD. And one of the ways I build connection in my classroom is by having my students uh, work through the Spirit Core stories of courage and stories of conscience. Working with the Spirit series, students were asked to write stories of courage. They really had to dig deep, investigate, be vulnerable in ways that they hadn't yet this school year. We also were able to benefit from the idea around peer coaching. It's each day. I give my students five minutes at the beginning of every single class to come in, to breathe, to settle, to doodle, and unwind because I know not every student that enters my classroom is ready to listen and learn first thing. Sometimes we need a few minutes to just get in here and settle down. And one of the ways that I build connection in my classroom is by teaching my students mindfulness techniques. One of the ways that we do this is through a compliments journal where they write compliments about each other every day and by a daily prompt so we can connect each morning when they arrive. One of the ways connection happens in my classroom is by providing students an opportunity for a lot of self-reflection and sharing. Through that sharing, we learn about one another, our similarities and our differences, and we learn to be respectful and kind. By going to their classrooms and picking them up to come work with me in my space and returning them at the end of our lesson. Um, so I like to use that time to connect with them about their lives, things that are going on in school, outside of school, things that I can come back to the next week and check in on, and I like to draw their interest into our lessons. One of the ways that I create connection in my program is by getting to know each student as an individual. And as they get to know the individual student, they find value and purpose in the program, which allows them to create clear goals. As they get to know their fellow classmates, they recognize shared goals with their classmates. And as they learn throughout the year, um, with a common goal, they become invested and they become connected to the program. And the way that I build connections in my class is just by letting people have open discussions. We begin every class with a daily check-in. Uh, that question could be something class related or it could be something completely off the wall and I let my students have the time to actually talk about the thing for as, as long as the conversation goes. At the beginning of the year it's typically like 30 seconds, it's very awkward, but by the end of the year sometimes we have like 20 minute discussions. We have developmentally appropriate mood meters in every classroom, school, and all the buildings in our district to help our students and our staff recognize, understand, label, and regulate their emotions. 
On behalf of the Maine Department of Education, happy International SEL Day. <laughs>